Hi everybody, it's Rebecca, um, and I'm back for another story time. Today, I'm reading Disney's Aladdin. It's also one of my favorite movies. How many of y'all have seen both the cartoon version and the live action one? I know I have. I think I kind of like the cartoon version better, but I'm just old school. I'm old anyways. <laughs> okay, so here we go. On a dark night in a faraway land, an evil man named Jafar and his wicked parrot were waiting. Uh, soon a thief named Gazim rode upon to them and held out the missing half of a scarab medallion. When Jafar hit the two halves together, thunder rumbled and a flash of lightning in the medallion raced across the desert. Jafar and the thief followed the medallion to the Cave of Wonders. Gazim, bring me the magic lamp, Jafar ordered, but the thief didn't make it beyond the opening of a cave. The tiger god of the cave devoured him. Then the tiger god spoke, only one who is worthy may enter here. There's a cave. That's a big cave. That's a, that tiger's huge, isn't it? wonder what they're after. Get this page turned. The next morning, a poor hungry young man named Aladdin and his pet monkey Abu were sitting on a rooftop. They were looking down on the marketplace of Agrabah. Suddenly, Aladdin noticed a lovely young woman. She seemed lost. She took an apple from a vendor's cart when the angry vendor deemed, d demanded excuse me, payment, which the young woman didn't have. Aladdin and Abu rushed down to help her. Thank you, kind sir, Aladdin said to the vendor. Thank you for finding my sister. He quickly led the young woman away. I think she was hungry. And there, there's Abu the monkey. This is your first time in the marketplace, isn't it? Asked Aladdin. I'm running away, the young woman explained. My father is trying to force me to get married. Suddenly, the palace guards appeared and arrested Aladdin. When the young woman demanded that they release Aladdin, the guards found out that she was Princess Jasmine, the sultan's daughter. The guards explained that Jafar, her father's advisor, had ordered, had ordered Aladdin's capture. Princess Jasmine returned to the palace and ordered Jafar to release Aladdin. Jafar told her that the young man had been killed. But Aladdin was not dead. Jafar was keeping him alive because he had learned that Aladdin was the only person worthy to enter the cave of wonders. It was Aladdin who could bring the magic lamp to Jafar. Then at last Jafar would use it to become a sultan. what's gonna happen next disguised as an old man Jafar took Aladdin to the cave of wonders the sleeping tiger god awoke proceed he said touch nothing but the lamp Aladdin and Abu gasped as they saw all the gold and jewel and jewels in the cavern don't touch anything Abu Aladdin warned then just as Aladdin found the magic lamp and scooped it up, Abu touched a huge glittering jewel. With a loud rumble, the cave began to collapse. Frantic Aladdin and Abu scrambled back towards the entrance where Jafar was waiting. Help me, shouted Aladdin, but Jafar refused. And Aladdin and Abu tumbled back uh, down into the dark cavern. I wonder if they're going to be able to get out. Let's find out. Aladdin feared they were trapped forever, but Abu still had the lamp. Aladdin took the old lamp, tried to rub off some of the dust. Poof! In a flash of colorful swirling smoke, a gigantic genie appeared. Say, 
You don't look like my last master, he said to Aladdin, but you still have three wishes and no wishing for more wishes. Aladdin was stunned. Three wishes, he intended to make good use of them. But first, he tricked the genie into whisking them out of the cave on a magic carpet. Unsure what to wish for first, Aladdin asked the genie what would he wish, would wish for. Surprised at that question, the genie replied, I would wish for freedom. So Aladdin promised to use his third wish to set the genie free, but his first wish was to be, be a prince so that he could marry Princess Jasmine. At the same time, in the palace of Agrabah, Jafar had used the serpent staff to hypnotize the sultan. The poor sultan was about to agree that Jafar could marry Jasmine. Ugh. Suddenly, they heard the sounds of a parade. The spell was broken, and the sultan rushed to the balcony in time to arrive to see the arrival of a grand prince. It was Aladdin. The genie had granted the young man's first wish. Aladdin for, entered the throne room. Your majesty, he said, bowing his salt to the sultan. I am Prince Ali of Agua. I have come to seek your daughter's hand in marriage. The sultan was thrilled. The law stated that Jasmine must marry a prince before her next birthday, which was only days away. But the princess did not want to marry Prince Ali. She was not in love with him. Prince Ali offered the princess a ride on his magic carpet, hoping to win her love. During the magical journey, Princess Jasmine realized that Prince Ali was the young man who had rescued her in the marketplace that starry night. Aladdin and Princess Jasmine fell in love. Oh, But later that night, Jasmine, I'm sorry, later that night, Jafar had Prince Ali captured and thrown into the sea. He was making sure that Prince Ali would, ne would not marry Jasmine and foil Jafar's own evil plans. Luckily, uh, Aladdin had the magic lamp with him. He summoned the genie and asked for his second wish to save his, his life. The genie quickly transported Aladdin back to the palace in Agrabah. Now that the Prince Ali was out of the way, Jafar was de determined to marry Princess Jasmine. I will never marry you, cried Jasmine. Papa, I choose Prince Ali. But once again, the Sultan was under Jafar's spell, and he ordered his daughter to marry Jafar. The princess was suspicious. Papa, what's wrong with you, she asked. Suddenly, Aladdin burst into the throne room and smashed Jafar's serpent staff. He'd been controlling you with this, your highness, said Aladdin. Immediately, the spell was broken. Traitor, shouted the sultan. Guards, arrest Jafar. But before the guards could capture him, Jafar escaped to his secret laboratory. Despite the hasty exit, Jafar had seen that Prince Ali was carrying the magic lamp. Prince Ali was really Aladdin. Jafar ordered Iago, his parrot, to steal the lamp. When Iago returned, Jafar made the genie appear. I wish to be a sultan, he demanded. That moment had come for the sultan to announce the wedding of Prince ja Princess Jasmine and Prince Ali, a bagua. A cheering crowd had gathered in front of the palace. Suddenly, Jafar appeared. In the sultan's robes, the crowd gasped. Genie, what what have you done? Aladdin shouted. Sorry, kid, said the genie sadly. I've got a new master now. The Jafar made a second wish. He wanted to be the most powerful sorcerer in the world. Jafar, the sorcerer, lost no time turning Prince Ali back into Aladdin. 
Jasmine couldn't believe her eyes. Jasmine, I'm sorry, cried Aladdin. I'm not a prince. I can't marry you. Finally, Jafar banished Aladdin to the ends of the earth. When Aladdin found himself a million miles from nowhere, he was glad that Abu and the magic carpet were still with him. Back to Agrabah, he shouted to the carpet, as fast as you can. Jafar was in a palace throne room, enjoying his newfound power. When Aladdin appeared, how many times do I have to destroy you, boy? He roared. You cowardly snake, Aladdin snapped. Cowardly snake, shouted Jafar. With a loud hiss, he turned himself into a giant cobra. Without the genie, boy, you're nothing, said Jafar, laughing. Looking up at the power-hungry Jafar, Aladdin got an idea. The genie has more power than you'll ever have, he jeered. Yes, yes, he hissed Jafar. You're right, I'm ready to make my third wish. I want you to be a genie. The moment Jafar turned into a genie, Aladdin smiled. Jafar had forgotten that the genie must live in a lamp. He and Iago disappeared into their own magic lamp. The Sultan was overjoyed that the day he had changed the law so that Jasmine could marry the man she chose. And she chose Aladdin. And what did Aladdin do with his third wish? He kept his promise and wished for the genie's freedom. Look out, world, exclaimed the genie. Here I come. I'm free. The end. How about that? That was a good book. Well, I hope everybody's been doing well, and I've missed you all. I uh, I had taken a break for a while, um, but I'm back, and I shall start doing these stories once a week. So you may never know when I'll be here next week for another book. Another book. I will see you later. Bye.